Hello everybody, we're here at Kamikaze at 407 Highland Avenue in Somerville, right in the heart of David Square. I'm here with owner Mike Burke here and he's so gracious to have us in today. This is an amazing, amazing store. I'm so impressed. Amazing variety of comic books, collectible toys, toys I haven't seen like Smurfs <laughs> since I haven't <laughs> seen since the 1980s. In Spanish, they're pitufos. I'm going to look for the pitufo version. <laughs> but in any event, Michael, here we go. Tell us more about how you started Kamikaze. Um, I've been a lifelong comic book fan and uh, the toys that go along with it. And uh, I worked in a similar shop and when I got together with my partners, Bob and Dave, we decided to give this a shot for ourselves. And uh, that was eight years ago. Wow. And we've got two stores now. Wonderful. In Arlington is the other store, right? Yep, in the Heights. Amazing, amazing. And um, how did you first start uh, f uh, developing the idea of the comic book store? How, did you start with like a website or I was reading in your bio? It, uh, it did start with a website, actually. Um, the third partner, David, he... He had a website and he sold science fiction toys. And then how did that lead to the store company? And uh, that, was, that was his stake into the business. He's just like, I've got an existing web business selling what we want to sell and um, we just need a storefront and let's get started. So bought a domain name and uh, it grew from there. Found a space, had, you know, had all this stuff. It was, you know, we had our own collections to, to start you know, as a base, as a foundation. and. Uh, I think the second day we were open, somebody walked in the door with like three boxes of comics going, do you buy comics? And just it just kept rolling from there. We started in Somerville first, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, with the storefront in Somerville first? Yeah, we were up the street at 380. Oh, great. Right on the, on the block where Kick-Ass Cupcakes is, actually. Oh, wonderful. And uh, we were there for six years and moved down here two years ago. A little closer into the, the heart of the action, as it were. So Somerville, the a great startup place for a new business Absolutely. and a great idea. Well, the Square is a fantastic place for a business, especially like a small little business Absolutely. like this and, and all of my neighbors. So you've been in business for eight years. Mm -hmm. How has it grown in the past eight years? Well, obviously it's grown in that four years after I started, I opened a second store. And um, we, we've, we've always wanted it to be kind of like a friendly neighborhood type of place where you can just come in, sit down, we know your names, you know us. Um, and a, a good example of that was 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 the 9-11 thing where when that happened, that was my first year in business. I had the day off but I came down here and the store was crowded. Just everyone just wanted like some kind of escape from what was happening and it was so great that they felt they could come to us. And uh, that was really that that was pretty amazing that is um amazing. and it just ke it keeps growing from there you know we we put on we put on halloween parties um we we have trivia event nights all kinds of things just to to keep that friendly neighborhood thing going and i think that will always make your business grow as long as you can keep doing things like that which is what we've done our whole eight years that's amazing. And um, now with the recent turns in the economy, has that affected much at all? Um, or is that still neighborhood feel just kept just... It's still... It's it's still keeping people coming through the door. It's, you know, it's, it's a little... It's more than just a business. It's, it's a yeah, family it's, it's, it's place. A, it's, a, it's a little slow, but, you know, it's... I think it's a little slow for everyone. Yeah, and uh, all you got to do is, you know, plow right ahead. Absolutely. What about any advice to upcoming young Thank entrepreneurs you. who have ideas just like you did eight years ago? <laughs> it's like, I love this. I love this passion of collectible toys and comics. Uh, and you persevere from the website to the store, two storefronts. Now you're back in Somerville again. Awesome to have you back. I mean, any uh, advice to any, new business? Any advice for a new business owner would be um, yes. love what you do and be willing to put in the time. It's a lot of time and work. but. Uh, you, you can't do it half halfway. Absolutely. That's that's all. Know what you're doing, love it, and be willing to make the sacrifices. That's amazing. And like, and you've been like not just over in Davis Square. You've been cooperating with other Davis Square businesses and throwing out joint events like the bazaar. That yeah, this past uh, we just did our our first bazaar this past weekend. Um, How was that? It was that was very uh, awesome. that was a success. It was definitely uh, a success. I was there. It was I, really fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was uh, that was a great time. I think we'll probably do it again. Any upcoming events that you're thinking in the future? A bake off. 
Yeah. Oh, yummy. Yeah, I, I like to call it the cookie clash. <laughs> Cookies and toys, you can't get any better than that. We've got to keep up. You got you, you, you to you be a little different. Everybody expects the comic books coming through here, but uh, who expects to come into a comic book shop and yeah. see a bake-off and a bunch of cookies? And three very, very friendly guys just doing what they love and taking it to the mm -hmm. next level from websites to, to storefronts. I'm so it's amazing. Great example Thanks. to other businesses and the Somerville community, and it's just perfect for Davis, so thank you. Thank you. thank you for being here and thank you for having us. This, you guys have to come down. This is absolutely amazing. I just can be hours here just looking at the old uh, old collectible toys, memories from years past. It's just amazing and amazing comic books in a great condition. Just as an example of everything you can get here, you know, just a glimpse of what you can get in this amazing store. Look at these. These are authentic 70s toys. Mego. Mego action figures, yes. Mego action figures. And this is, is this Batwoman? Uh, bad girl, yes. There was uh, no women's lib that. <laughs> you can edit that one. <laughs> and then uh, um, the Riddler, Spider-Man, and the uh, Green Goblin. There, you name a superhero or a, a licensed character like Star Trek or Chips or Wizard of Oz. In the '70s, Mego did all of them, and uh, they're highly collectible. They're they're great toys. Great example Thanks. to other businesses and the Somerville community, and it's just perfect for Davis, so thank you. So as you mentioned before, and as you now know, the, the businesses that we did visit are ter terrific, uh, not only for their services, but for the work that they, um, we've done with them and that they provide to city residents. Uh, Good Life Productions, as I said in that interview, um, I've done work with them, the city's done work with them. Um, their welcome video is fantastic, but they do great work for individuals, for companies, for you know, any any realm of the spectrum that you want to hit. Um, they do, like they said, you know, biographies and, um, you know, fun things, but certainly the welcome video, I'm going to keep saying it. I know I said that 12 times already, but it's That's great, really and, and we're definitely looking forward to working with them in the future. And just the fact that they have, you know, worked so hard in many different areas, you know, broadcasting to now production firm and, or firm company of their own, it's, they're doing really well, and I, am, you know, I hope to see a lot more great things from them in the future. And, and Kamikaze going from an entrepreneurial start at home too. To storefront in Arlington. I mean, these were three friends who started with their own website dealing with collectible toys and, and other areas of their interests and how they took that to the next level, which is an Arlington storefront and now which has flourished onto our Davis Square in right in the middle of the square. They offer amazing collectible toys, retro toys that you haven't seen, I haven't seen since the 70s or 80s and they have it there in amazing condition, variety of comics. They just have such a variety of, 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 of toys and objects and it's just amazing how they took that idea and they just expanded it up to our community and it was wonderful to meet them we went to their bazaar and on uh, and that was amazing they had all these different types of toys that I remember having when I was two or three years old <laughs> yeah. I saw a he-man and a batman and it's amazing and it, it's great that they they've kept that idea up to uh, you know from Arlington to our Somerville and next the world I and hope so I hope so too it's, and good life was amazing oh, the yeah. work with the hospitals and Tufts <clears throat> University and geez they're just going to the next they're level everywhere. they really are what's really great I think my favorite part of of this particular segment of the show is that you get to see, I mean, you take business and storefronts, even we do it when we visit them to, to interview and talk to the people who have started them, but people take for granted how great backstories are. I mean, Kamikaze, you think, oh, it's a comic book store, you wouldn't necessarily stop in, but you take a minute to speak to them, starting off as a web-based business or starting off with, oh, yeah, I have this idea of getting rid of some of my old toys. Like, <laughs> that's great, and now they've got two stores and are hoping to expand, I think. So yeah. it's, I mean, you get to really learn a lot about these businesses. So. Take a trip down to, to Kamikaze, Kamikaze, spend a little time with the folks at Good Life Productions, learn Check about them. them, but do it for all the summer businesses. We've got a, a very, like you said, yeah. great variety of small boutique stores. We don't have a lot of chain stores, which makes us unique, so Definitely. learn about them. Learn about them and keep those right businesses ideas, develop them, focus on them, and do like our guests have done, and you'll see them flourish up to the Chamber of Commerce. I hope so. I hope so, too. I think that wraps it up for this time. We'll see you next time. Happy, Happy holidays, holidays, everybody, and we'll see you next month. See you soon. Thank Taking you. Care of business. Oh. Taking care of business.